Welcome to this introduction to user experience management. My name is Mike Zuckerman. I'm NOAA Software's Chief Marketing Officer. NOAA is a leader in user experience management. Over 20% of the Fortune 50, in fact close to 20% of the Fortune 100, and hundreds of Global 5000 customers have licensed our technology. In the final analysis, our technology enables our customers to optimize business performance and realize value. There are important questions to be answered. Have we realized the full value of our application software investment? Have we been able to reach best-in-class performance? The answers to these questions help these organizations drive millions of dollars in value to their bottom line. NOAA Software is an SAP Solution Extension partner. This means that our technology is available through SAP's contracts and directly from their sales organization and you can purchase it using your standard SAP contracts. Our technology has been licensed to many companies as mentioned earlier in many industries across every geography in the world to date. Let's take a closer look at user experience management. Let's think about your data center and how much technology you have focused on the performance of that data center. Everything is about the networks, the storage, the processors, the applications. And traditionally, very little attention is paid to the experience that the user has at the desktop. User experience management now starts to understand how all that infrastructure delivers specific performance to each and every user and how that user executes efficient business process to make the organization run better. To really get a sense of how compelling this is, you need to answer two questions. First, what is the percentage in your organization of system error in your production deployment? And second, what is the percentage of, of user error in that same production deployment? Most CIOs are very surprised to find that in fact only 8.4 percent of their error is attributable to significant infrastructure issues what we would call system errors in the software and this 8.4 percent to most CIOs today looks far larger it looks like 40 or 50 or 60 percent and the reason is that the other 91.6 percent is invisible if you think about it the help desk perhaps only sees one in eight of these and so this twists the perception about what's really going on organizationally but in fact over 90 percent of the errors are user or business process errors and once you start to see this data and start to understand this problem the opportunity becomes visible and compelling this user data is behind the scenes responsible for or part of the solution to resolving many many business problems things that happen all the time which are generally not resolved because the CIO does not have visibility to this data and doesn't understand the implications of being able to solve these problems. In terms of how we resolve these issues, we package this system, this analytics framework, into four solution sets that help you attack specific problems. So you could make a decision to say, what is the benefit for me in targeting training and education? And how can I use this technology to solve that problem set? And we have specific turnkey dashboards that enables the solutions to training and education. Each of these areas provides strong benefits and each of these areas contains one or more use cases within the solution set. Johns Manville is a US based company in the building and installation market with revenues in excess of two and a half billion over 6,000 employees and you can see that they're monitoring business process for about 2,000 of these users. NOAA EPM was able to increase user satisfaction by almost threefold in under six months and substantially reduce the cost of ongoing training across their employee base. The NOAA solution has proven to provide significant bottom line benefits. SAP operations have become more responsive as metrics around month end processing are reviewed and process training improvements made based upon the findings. Severstall, a leader in global steel and mining, and for Severstall, they wanted to grow the capacity for their center of excellence without necessarily expanding their expenditure levels. And by employing this technology, Severstall is able to see the path to drive decreases in the number of center of excellence tickets, the time to resolve them, and all the things they need to do to implement training with concurrent and positive supporting economic benefits. Severstall is an SAP certified center of excellence and they've made a significant investment in supporting their users and this technology now 
maps into their strategy to do so while reducing cost and expanding capacity. For Loblaws, the opportunity was both to reduce the cost of IT service, enhance application support and target training. And across the board, they were able to see potential value drivers by cutting training costs, support center costs, increase the efficiency of user execution, reduce application modifications, and speed up the time to identify performance issues and reduce the time to remediate them and fix them. You cannot fix what you cannot measure. NOAA brings flexible analytical capabilities to provide visibility to user engagement. Ultimately, in the final analysis, not one of these customers woke up in the morning with a budget for user experience management. And so these companies woke up and decided to build a business case to support the deployment of the technology. And the business case was so compelling that they were able to create a budget to move the process forward. That is likely the path that you will take to drive these benefits. You want to understand which of those four solution sets can work for you. This example is very typical of the kinds of return on investment that we see. This appears to be a very good investment for these customers. This is the sort of economic opportunity that makes the use of the technology compelling. First thing that we do is we connect to everything just about in your SAP world. That's automatic. And then the analytics discovers for every component of execution in that infrastructure, all of the system error, all of the user business process error, every component of timing and the location of the error associated with that component. It could be transaction, screen, module, function, custom transactions. It's all automatic and it's all discovered by the analytics framework. And finally, we give you the tools to manage this. To take a closer look, you can see that we're trying to understand everything that impacts that user at the desktop, system level error underneath that keyboard, and everything they do with business process execution. We're understanding all of the 91% that was missing before. Then the analytics framework takes all of this data and automates discovery by highlighting opportunities for you. These could be on a broad sense to identify the 10 biggest errors occurring today or the three uh, geographies most impacted by slow performance or these could be alert driven and finally then we enable you to take action and measure the results of that action and understand how you're doing to remediate those issues concurrent to that remediation you can also start to see the economic benefit that goes with it and when you you do this you'll see increases in adoption efficient use, you'll resolve IT errors, and you'll drive costs down across the board. SAP UEM enables very broad functionality across the many dashboards. At the technical level, we show you many different sources of data, both system error, user error, the performance that goes with them, and the source specific to a desktop if that's appropriate for your organization. Everything about performance below the keyboard is identified and everything about business process execution is similarly identified. Deployment for this technology can often be in as little as four to six weeks and the important thing to note is that this technology does not integrate with the back end. It sits on the desktop as an agent and monitors the business process and execution from the desktop point of view and hence can be easily and rapidly integrated non-intrusive deployment, simple, no impact on your infrastructure. And all of the dashboards are presented to you based upon the standard SAP business objects framework. So in summary, user experience management delivers metrics that enable you to see the performance of the enterprise app from the keyboard down and the business process from the keyboard up. And now you can start to answer questions about are you receiving the full value of your enterprise investments, what does it take for you to reach best-in-class performance, and in doing so, you'll be able to drive strong return on investment to your bottom line.